Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And in the last episode, guys, we learned about the do's and don'ts of beast breeding. Uh, we now have the ability for our beasts in the vivarium to have kids, and we're currently experimenting on some of those uh, critters that only dead people can see. I forgot their name off the top of my head. But we also saw how breeding can go very badly in the hamlet of Ironshire. A uh, woman, kind of drunk with power and wanting riches, decided to breed spiders, and she met a very unfortunate end, as did several other people in Ironshire. We went ahead and got that cleared out of the way. Hopefully lessons have been learned. And now we are here in the greenhouses of Hogwarts, and another student needs our help. We'll see what this is all about. Oh, it's you! Just the person I need. Good thing I was asleep here on the floor. Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning, and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. Hopefully those beets grow back then. Beats for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. Giant dog? My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. You... How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Well, if that doesn't set off warning bells, I don't know what would. Let's get some intel here. Why is your ancestor so well known? He discovered the properties of several magical herbs and plants. He also uncovered numerous types of flora. The wizarding world owes him a great debt. His work not only impacted the discipline of herbology, but also potion making. So multiple disciplines. Why was Mom Duke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother, not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. Harsh. How do you know it's safe? I don't want my feet to turn into beets as well. Oh, but the curse only applies to Marmaduke's descendants, as my brother so aptly demonstrated. That's why I need your help. You're unrelated to my family, so the curse wouldn't affect you. We hope. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. 
According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. So easy. Like, Thank you for your nothing help. could possibly go my wrong. family is indebted to you. Beating a curse. So if it's about beats, do we have to fight Killer Tofu? Congratulations. If you get that reference, you're old. Where are we going? Ah, we have found the entrance here before. We just didn't go in. So let's travel to Brockboro. I assume we're going to be fighting those zombie things. I need to find the tomb near Brockboro and place Samantha's family crest on the sarcophagus there. Well, let us fly then. I'm really digging the winter vibes here. That'd be so cold flying through this. But I guess that's one of the reasons we're wearing a scarf, right? I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Oh, we got some upskins hanging out outside. Well, let's head in. That crest isn't going to reap place itself. Well, my feet didn't turn into beads. That's a good start. I want to take your shoes off and see if they've turned into any other kind of vegetable. Thanks. Hello, rats. Dreamer's Nightwear. Rebellion. All this loot, and they don't grab it right off the bat. Olive pattern robe. I guess it makes sense, though. Brother was probably not taking his uh, transformation well. Should have known a herbologist would use Devil's Snare. You get Professor Garlic in on this. Revelio. Cedar rivet gloves. It's down here. Confringo. Revelio. Oh, Lord Spiders. Great. Well, at least we're well versed in the spider slain. Confringo. What do we need to do there? Was there a Revelio? Place to Confringo. Monies. Nice herbology station, actually. Four or six rules. Placard. Revelio. Not Daniel's first play. How do we... Oh, wow. I almost made that. And then that gave way. Never mind. Grab some more Horklump juice, because you never know when you need more Wingweld. Revelio. Bowl of the Dead quest updated. Ah! The breeding went well. Excellent to hear. Confringo. Ew. A troll? You can't be serious. Another freaking troll. Okay, where's our... We don't have our ancient magic, unfortunately. Easy. You see there, big guy? Trafficus Totalis! Gotcha! Crazy! Leviosa! Descender! Confringo! And hit you with all the things! Yeah, 
that's how you stun that. Nothing else is gonna work. Oop. Good. Gotcha. Bogey's well earned. Revelio. Now I'm going to assume. Well, let's see. We got Disney leaves. This is going to lead to that area that we were trying to get into before. Ooh. And cloak. Well, Marmaduke certainly left behind more than plants. Yeah, he did. Unidentified back item. Cool. So that's where we need to uh, vacate. We need to get out of here in a hurry. Revelio. None of the zombies. Um, color me surprised. Maybe there'll be another troll back there. Just because of its tomb doesn't mean it's... Oh. This must be Marmaduke. That should reverse the curse. Hopefully. It's like the uh, Crusader shield in Last Crusade. Revelio. Easy peasy. And we'll see if there's any opposition on the way out. And if not, this is pretty textbook, I would say. We have taken out a lot of infamous foes. Oh, you're good, Daniel. This will prevent us having to go through that devil snare again. Here we go. Here's the exit. And no curveballs. Huzzah! Well, after this... Panther will be glad to hear that the crest has been returned. I certainly hope it reverses the curse. We'll talk to Samantha, and then we'll head back to the Vivarium. Actually, we'll look at our quest, and then we'll return to the Vivarium. Hogwarts. Back here. The greenhouse. I bet Professor Garlic would like to uh, hear about this as well. I'm happy to tell you that I returned the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus just as you asked. I thought as much. I received word from St. Mungo's that my brother's feet are back to normal. No more beats. Oh, I cannot thank you enough. It wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Just a measly old troll. Nothing significant. A troll? Oh dear, I'm so sorry. That's awful. No one has been in that tomb for centuries. It's another day at the office. But I can't say I'm surprised. Marmaduke seems to have been full of surprises. Indeed he was. Well, I suppose I should be going. I'm anxious to see my brother, who must be elated to have his feet back. Of course. I certainly would be. William and I are forever in your debt. Thank you again for what you did. Well, you can go ahead and run that direction now. Ooh, totem. Get a little bit of shaman magic going. Quest log. Let's see. Hopefully, like, all the nibbles and stuff didn't transfer over to his feet when he got better. That would have been unfortunate. Speak with Sebastian in the Undercroft. Professor Howen's assignment. Acquire a Deary Call and a giant purple toad. And we learn Bombarda. 
Man behind the moons. Groom and feed the Thestral. Thestrals, that's what they're called. Well, if we need to go ahead and nab some critters, where would we go ahead and do that? Um, Giant Toad. Fire a Deary Call with the naps. Oh, I guess it's right there. That'll help. Into West Hogwarts Valley. And I know the toads are just anywhere there's where there's a bog. And... Wait a minute. What is that? The south. Is that what part of the quest? I believe so. Wait, are we in a camp? Rebellion. Oh. Oh, it's a guide page. Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. When thrown in the air, this power, powder from Peru creates an impenetrable darkness resistant to most light creation spells. The Ashwinders have been using it to steal from surrounding areas without detection. Is... Well, there are a lot of baddies here. Is this a camp I have not taken out? It is. Well, while we're in the area, it would be rude. Not to make our presence felt. Oh. There. Two are done. Oh yes, gather up. Who could be doing these horrible things? We need to find the culprit and stop them. Making all these wonderful yet ugly statues. This is quite a sizable camp compared to some of the others that we've seen. Alright, what do we got down here? More of you? <laughs> Low up Sorry, I, I know you were in the middle of your evil laugh and, and quote. I just don't really have time for monologuing right now. At first you were afraid and then petrified. And we got a Merlin trial over here. And done. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. An Ashwinder. Venom 3. I'll be coming out in theaters eventually, I hear. Revelio. And really nothing else other than the Merlin trial, which I don't really feel like doing. Neat. Job well done. Let's travel. Over here and find a... Either at the Deary Claw would be over here. The Purple Toad will be there in the bog. We've got this lovely castle. Oh. Are you? Why is there a cage this here? This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Wait, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. I'm sorry. Oh, lord. How are you? Confringo! Levioso, Descendo! Well, that was not expected. So. Let's go ahead and do. Gotcha. 
Very pretty. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. So was that a male or female? That was okay. It's a male. And it looks like the females are the ones without like the very colorful. Oh, okay, don't kill them now. I assume that the Oh, I see you. The feathers are Rebellion. for mating reasons. Trying to attract mate. They're teleporting all which way and around, aren't they? Ah! Leviosa. And got a couple. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Neat. What is over here? Just a den and a treasure vault. Where would the treasure vault be? I assume underneath the castle? Oh, in the castle itself. Really? Oh, I guess I would need to get the uh, the block, wouldn't I? Oh well. We can always come back to that. Now, giant toad. Here in the bog, I would assume. And... Yeah, for sure. We'll fast travel here to the cabin just to make it a little bit easier. Then we'll see what's going on with the critters who bred. Say that'd be a productive day. We got all the dug bogs, who are the more violent of the toad breeds. And there we go. Where are you guys at? Where are you hiding? Aha. Okay, giant purple toad. Leviosa. Oh, I've got multiples. Assignment's all finished. Yeah, almost. And we need... That was a male. Female. Revelio. Where'd you guys go? Male. Male. Are, those, are you all males? Hello. Yeah, all males. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Levioso. Gotcha. You are hiding. Professor Howen will never believe this. Stellar. Now, where do we need to turn this in? Professor Howen's assignment to learn Bombarda. Well, first things first. Let's go ahead and travel here to the map. Head back to Hogwarts. Head into Yield Room of Requirement and drop these guys off. I would think that the Deary Claws would go well in here. Got our little hedge maze. Still, we got the unicorns. Oh, you know what? We need to go ahead and get a breeding station in here, don't we? Oh, I need more moonstone. Got at least a little bit here. Yeah. Aha! Where do we want to put this? About right here, I would say. Do 
You have some. We do have some critters in the way, though. Hey, can you guys move? Uh, well, where do we start? Where can we start putting this stuff, man? Oh, I still need to see if I can find a uh, female unicorn. I didn't even think about that. You know what? Let's just go ahead and put it here against the maze. That would work, right? You get oh, they're like, no, we're protesting this. Ah, gotcha. What do we want to have? Red, kitties, the nifflers. Otter one species four out of four. So by that rationale. Nifflers, the I would go ahead and let's move these guys to the inventory. Right now. And we'll move these guys in here. Aw, oh, look at them. Brushy brushy. Drax. Oh, they're eating. Gotcha. Please do not gore me from behind. Magical, awesome unicorn. Here, have a brushing. As thanks for not killing me. And I will go ahead and take that lovely unicorn horn. And you guys need to be brushed. There you are. Cool. We may need to go back to the forest and see if we can find a suitable unicorn mate. Meanwhile, we'll go ahead and drop off the birds that we found. Here, oh, look at the little kid. Hippogriff offspring. Oh, they're adorable as little guys. Oh, wait, oh, oh, they're that they're gonna kill me. They're going to kill me. Settle yourself. Let's just assume that this did not happen. I pressed the wrong oh. button. Yes. So you've met me. Have some food as an apology. Take that hippogriff ring. Or that hippogriff feather. And be very glad that High Wing did not kill me on sight. Oh yeah, also need to drop off your new friends. Um, Jabber Knowles. Yoink. Yeah, I know you guys are kind of more foresty, I think. But, I think you'll like the beach. Now let's go check the swamp. The lovely swampland. And oh, look at you. Little biscuit. And quest Should updated. Let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Mm hmm. Then we'll go ahead and drop off these two. You get brushed. Thestral's all over the place. I love frogs. Frogs and turtles, man. Oh, oh I did it again. Need to get that bag out of my inventory. He's like, um, sir. You're about to... That's fine. What do we got? Toad warts. Well, now that you're fed and happy... Oh, 
go ahead and have you do whatever it is that okay that is not for small minds like mine to ponder Deek. Good things happened, my friend. Where'd you go? Ha! Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. What a shame. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. <sighs> it sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. All of the dead complete. Awesome. And we need to go ahead and attend Beast class so we can learn their new spell, Bombarda, guys. And we will go ahead and do that at the beginning of the next episode. I may run around in here and do a little housekeeping with the beasts, maybe change up where they are. We'll figure it out. But I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>